Good evening. Thank you for joining us on Overcome by Love. I'm Apostle Cora Langford, and tonight I have as my special guest is Apostle Kim Smith. Thank you so much for Thank joining for me having. tonight. God bless you. Anyway, we're going back on our relationship series, our love series, and and tonight we're just going to uh, speak about many different things that people well, need to know. If it's okay, Apostle, I'll start out with some of the most asked questions. People came sure. back to how to catch your man, and they wanted to hear a little bit deeper thought. Uh, first off, let me quote a couple of things you said that they said, and maybe you can help us is uh, how do we catch a man, and you said uh, two weeks ago when we started the series that Ruth 3 wanted the message, isn't it time I arranged a good home for you to do before you would have a happy life, maybe it's time for you to make the move. In other words, Apostle was saying, I'm just recapping for all of you, she had a couple of points, just recapping the points and then we're asking other questions. But she said that we have to be uh, sought after, we have to be noticed, we have to be found. A man that finds a wife finds a good thing. So that was her point. So Ruth three one in the message, write that down. The other thing she talked about was uh, I thought it was really really powerful. She said First Peter three four in the Amplified. She says, "Let it be an inner beauty, one that is calm, self controlled, not over anxious, but serene." spiritually mature, which is very precious in the sight of God. Second tip was First Peter 3, 4, what we're standing on, not how great you look physically. I'm sure you ladies do it, as she does, but she's more concerned about her inner, inner uh, woman, if you know what I mean. Amen. And the, the last thing, I, if I remember you said, I hope I can find it. It says, uh, in marriage, she, this is her one of her thoughts, Psalm 45, 11, the NLT, uh, this is the third most requested, it says, your royal husband delights in your beauty, honor him, for he is your Lord. That doesn't mean he lowers over you, tells you what to do all the time, but you know, he is the head of the house, and she's talking about submitting. Can you imagine somebody, even though Apostle's not married yet, but somebody, uh, you know, I already told her Joel thing was taken, but <laughs> my point being is, can you imagine somebody having to be really strong to follow her around the world, her speaking all over the world, and ministering on TV every night, I mean, that man would have to walk on water with you just to follow you to carry all the life. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so let us begin. The, the, they took you back to the first part of the series. Uh, I think your, your first one was catch a man. And I'll start asking the questions. Maybe you can recap sure. and kind of encourage us and, and talk us through it. So realize that most men don't understand women. Amen. That was me. We always fear what we don't understand. So we have to hang out. Uh, your thought, I'll give you the most answer that you gave everybody else and you can elaborate. Okay. You said, hang out with guy friends and they'll teach you something. But your thought is? Yeah, so if, if you hang out with male friends, most males, first of all, they love action. You know, they, when, they're growing, when they're growing up, when they're raising a family, what do boys do? They play sports, mm -hmm. right? And so they... they Boys know how to compete. They know how to be playful. So what, how do you catch a man? Is by being playful. You need to compete with him. Not so much that you're gonna be rough and tough and all that, no, but it's just that that's how you get interaction with a man. You, you, you play with them and you, you, you can you know, play sports with them, you can play card games, you can you know, show a little bit of, of um, competitive, competitiveness with them. So. That's what I would say is that you got to get into a, uh, an area where you can show some action and, and show them that you're not a wimp and that, you know, that you're a strong, you know, a beautiful girl and you're going to love your heart. Okay. I, uh, the questions I got, there, there are three different series. Sorry about all this. Uh, but it's not that we're jumping around, but uh, the second most watched series was uh, here's some uh, thoughts on confronting in love, which she did last week. And she just did the not when uh, nine problems arise, she went through that. So and we're just kind of recapping on the 13th series, 13 of course means promise, but the second most asked question in this part, and I'll move on to the, the next two, is uh, breaking the ice. You said most uh, guys, like or most gals like to be chased, but they're born to be pursued, but a powerful way to do it is by being subtle and let them know that you're interested. That was your thought. Yeah, so as, as um, men, they, they
they are, you know, like lions. They want to go and, and capture the prey. Not that you're a prey, but, but you know, they were just using this as, um, as, a, as an example. But So basically what you need to do is if you're interested in that man and you know that he's interested in you, you know, there's nothing wrong by just saying, hi, how are you? And, you know, just start up a conversation like normal. It doesn't have to be so spiritual or religious or anything like that. Just okay. say, hey, how are you doing? You know, I, I saw you playing on that um, baseball game. You did really good. I saw you hit that ball. Or, you know, I saw you playing basketball. And, wow, you really know how to play. So when you do those, when you say those encouraging words to them, they're like, oh, my gosh, like that girl knows sports. And then next thing you know, they're going to be asking you out for some coffee or tea or something. That's good. That's really good. And the third one is we'll move to the second part so she can recap so you can understand the high points, the most asked questions that you wanted to know was the third one. I thought this was really good. It says don't play hard to get. Amen. Uh, <laughs> and make play, instead of doing that, you said play the uh, it's worth sacrificing card for. What's the difference? You said the game of entertainment for yourself, for your needs, playing hard to get. But you said the one to do is to sacrifice for it. In other words, it creates standards that cause them to rise the occasion. I thought it was really good. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, so, so basically, you know, you, you want to be noticed out there. You, you want to get, get noticed. And, and, you know, you might want to even, you know, wink your eye at the guy and That's say, good. hey, you know, like, That's good. you know, um, not that you're so formal. You know, you really have to be informal. Guys are informal. They, they don't, you know, they don't like to dress up only when, you know, they have to dress up. Otherwise, I mean, they would probably prefer to be in their shorts or jeans and a, and a t-shirt, you know, and just to be free. And, but they, they like a woman who can be playful too and, and be like that, you know. I mean, not all men want a woman to be all dressed up all the time. They want to be, they want you to be in your um, jeans and a shirt, you know, so that you can be comfortable and, you know, and, and so that, you know, you guys can go out for walks and, you know, and just be, be normal, be just content, be happy and just share your life. And, you know, just don't be, you know, negative guys want you to be positive. They want positive people, positive women who are going to encourage you. Good work. The next series that was the most popular, I mean, apostle, I'm not saying that they were all the same, but these are the three most questions. Amen was here's some thoughts about confronting in love and she gave an excellent point but i want to bring up a couple for time's sake so you can recap and you can get uh learning yourself she said galatians 6 1 she says brothers if you found someone who was caught in wrongdoing you ought to uh who you are who are spiritual should restore such a person with a gentle spirit watching out for yourselves so you won't be tempted yourself that's what she said and then she said, verse 2, carry another one's burden. And of course, third letter, talk through this one. Uh, the third one of Galatians 3 was, for if anybody uh, considers himself to be something when he's nothing, he should, uh, he's the deceiver of himself. So in other words, uh, never accuse or vent or frustrate or punish a person for falling or hurting you. The other one was, be careful not to judge your motives of the people. And the last is, where's the gift of discernment? She talks about that over and over and over. Where's your gift of discernment? You should discerning what these guys are like. Go ahead, Apostle. Yes, of course. I mean, first of all, I mean, God has given you that free gift anyway. And, and discernment is such a powerful gift that, you know, normally, most of the time, if I see someone, I can look at them and the Holy Spirit will give me what I need to know so that I can encourage that person. You know, and, it's, and here's the same thing with a man. If, if that man it doesn't look right, you know, you know and, and you look at his eyes and you can see that maybe there's some hurt there or, or you know, an evil spirit or a lustful spirit or, you know, something like that, the Holy Spirit will give you that discernment and he'll say, no, don't go there. Walk away from that person. Or he might show you a person that's really, truly loving, kind, and he'll say, go over to that person. That person has a free spirit, a love spirit. And then, you know, the, he'll draw you to the people that he wants you to be close to. Because he wants, he wants to bring you together as one. So if I have a spirit of love on me, then he's going to connect me to 
that man of God who has a, another spirit of love because, you know, we have to be strong together. So he just, he's not going to connect me to someone that's evil. Of course not. Amen. Good Amen. work. So nine ways, I don't know if we can get into all those, but the apostles, the number one was the, the nine ways when you have problems, how to confront, is when a problem arises, make an appointment to talk as soon as possible. That was your number one. Amen. Yes. You don't want to wait and let that problem go for days, for months, for years, because then, you know what, you're going to forget about it. And, you know, but anyway, but you, what you need to do is in love, you need to say, look, can we sit down and talk about this issue? And, and that the man may say, well, okay, let me, you know, give him a couple days. Because first of all, men do not like to be rushed into um, a serious issue. They want to ponder it. You know, men, women, you know, we make fast, quick decisions all the time. But men like to ponder on things so that they can come back with a good answer. Not that they're, you know, an answer is going to be right or wrong, but they need to think about it. And so, you know what? I would say, you know what? Give them a couple days. Let them think about it. Don't be rushing into them and telling them, oh, have you thought about it yet? Or do you have your, you know, do you have your answer? Don't do that. Just say, you know what, honey? I'm, I'm waiting for you, and it's okay. Just take your time. And you know what? That man will, he will so much respect you for that. I'm telling you, don't, don't let it go. Hey, Amen. She's right. And the next most popular one was let a person know about your behavior has affected you. You talk about that all the time. Yes. Yeah, so if, if someone is negative, you need to let them know and say, hey, you know what? I noticed it. Right. That you've been a little negative lately, you know, yeah. around here. And so basically what you, you know, want to do is encourage them and say, well, how about this? You know, if this is bothering you, you know, maybe that person, you shouldn't be hanging out with that person because if you're, you know, if that person has a lot of personal issues and they're, you know, telling you all the time, negative, 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 then what happens is going to go on you. Then you're going to talk to that person and you're going to be negative. So, you know, that's why we need to be around um, like-minded people and, and to be, you know, around godly people and then anointed people. But I want to encourage you, too, that, that it's important that you share, that you're open, that you're honest. Because you, you can't lie. I mean, God, God sees your heart. So you cannot lie. You've got to be truthful. You've got to be honest. Share your emotions, you know, and share those by saying, I felt this. Don't say, well, you did this to me. Say, I. Use the word I. And then you know what? That person will respond better instead of saying you. Because when you say you, that means that you're making them feel guilty about something right. that they may not even have done. That's really good. And the third one, you kind of answered it, but I'll just mention it. And I can move to the fourth one if you want. Is be transparent about your struggles. What's really wrong? She's so prophetic. She does this all the time in the studio. Some other come in and say this, this, and she goes, no, really. What is really wrong? And it's really <laughs> interesting how she does it. But uh, uh, she can do both at the same time. So the next one was give benefits of doubt no matter how he, he or she has behaved. The, the person's not the enemy. Your thought. You always talk about that. Yes, the person is not the enemy for sure. I mean, that's just a, the devil that's trying to get you or throw you off your guard. You know, um, the enemy is, is so... Um, uh, powerful in and deceiving people you know and and but but god is more powerful than that and he just wants you to open up your eyes and open up your spiritual eyes you know remove the scales off your eyes so that you can see and um and then once you realize like even if you have to step back for a minute and kind of figure out wait a minute what just happened here then you're going to see that the enemy was involved and then you can turn that thing around you know, the Holy Spirit will show you how to turn it around. So just don't start, you know, going off on that person. You know, you got to look and see what happened there. And then, you know, God will probably say, you know, why don't you go pray for them? And then, you know, everything's like, okay, everything's cool. You don't have to worry about it. Everything's fine now because now you just pray. And, and you're, not, you're not blaming that person. You're blaming the enemy for what just transpired. Because the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Oh, and you lie. We can't let that happen. The next most popular response to your uh, series, Apostle, is we ask if we can be part of the solution. You talk about this all the time in the studio. How you've exposed their weakness without talking them through it. Your thoughts. I always like to see 
even when people are you know going through some tough times some rough times whatever my heart is always to see the good in them and and that's what the holy spirit brings to me he'll show me the good because see there's so many times that people have been talked to about all the negative things all the things that they do wrong that they can't see the good thing that's really inside of them and once you bring out the good thing inside of them then you're going to spark a little light that's inside. And then that little light's going to turn into a flame. That little flame is going to turn into a torch. And before you know it, that person's going out and ministering to people. So, you know, we got to be really careful that we're not hurtful to people, that we just show people in love and we talk to people in love and, and, and try to see the good. Even when, when, you know, they're going through a hard, difficult time, it's, it's God's way. It's the only way. That's really good. Here's a real good one. I like this one. You always talk about this one. If the person's part of the problem, be quick to repent. That's a big thing. And then you always say, don't defend yourself. If there are wrong, forgive them. Yes. Even if you are right, and you know you're right, and really you are right, but they're like not letting it go, I'll say, you know what? Let it go. Just forgive them. Forgive yourself. And, and you know what, it's just like, that's the reason why you need to have oil poured over you. Wow. Because see, what happens yeah. is those negative words need to be released off of you, and they wow. will slide right on off of you. Wow. you so yeah. that's what you need to do. You need to, to say, okay, you know what, and then the Lord sees your heart. He's like, you know what, because you did that, because you didn't want to have an altercation or an argument, and you let it go, now I'm going to promote you. I'm going to elevate you into a something new. That's good. Wow, that happens there all the time. Bring others, this is the last one I'll say, because of time you have to pray for the people. Bring others to help resolve the issue you always talk about. They always bring you, by the way. <laughs> Someone else that respects by all parties, of course that's you, but if they don't have you, what do they do? <laughs> you pray. <laughs> you pray. You know, it's always better um, as a group, as, as um, you know, yeah. that's what Jesus said, to take two by two, you know, go minister. Gotcha. Because if one falls down, the other one can pick them up. Yes. And that's what happens. You know, you need to pray together. If you have, a, you know, another person, get that person and, and bring them in and pray um, so that the Holy Spirit can move within those people. Because, you know, it's so important that we pray for people. And that's what we want to do here at Vision TV. We want to pray for you. We want you to get your breakthrough. We want you to get your healing. You know, whatever it is that, that you have been praying for we are here for you we are here to encourage you and we are here to support you because we love you because god loves you good work now as we wrap it up towards the end those are the three the top series out of the 13 or out of the 12 not that the other ones weren't watched but that's the the most important questions she just wanted to recap everything for you uh, I, I don't know where she's going with it next week i don't know if she's starting all over or continuing a new series but whatever it is uh, books are coming soon, so you'll have the information for yourself. Uh, you can uh, get them here at Vision TV, or you can go online. She might do series online, what, yeah. whatever it is. But you have, you can have the information, and you don't have to give up your relationships. She's talking about uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. She's talking husband and wife. She's talking about this friendship. This is very valuable biblical principles that you can live uh, your life by and change your life. Apostle. As we close tonight, do you have anything you want to pray? If the people are hurting out there, they're struggling, they don't understand the relationships, you know, he said this, she said that, you know, how do they resolve that? And what would you recommend? Well, you know, I think that some of the issues that most people have is that um, they haven't dealt with their inner wounds. Okay. You know, so let's say, for example, if um, for me, uh, I'll use myself that, you know, I had... Um, you know, hurtful things that happened to me as a child and as even in college. And so it's like, well, how do I trust a man? How oh, do, wow. you know, how do I trust a man? Because I've been hurt by men. And, you know, and every time I, you know, maybe get close to a man, I, I, I kind of like close up and I, and I feel like I, I can't deal with that man. And so it's like, well, how do you do it? What do you do to get through it? Well, again, now that I am, you know, spiritual now, uh, you know, and, and a woman of God, you know, I can say, I can say this, is that, that you have to trust the Holy Spirit. 
You have to discern. Oh, wow. So you need to pray for discernment that God will show you this person. And if, 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 if they have, you know, a lot of love in their heart or if they are have a, they're a teacher anointing, you know, or that you know that they're a man of God, then you know what? You need to let down your guard. And the Holy Spirit will even tell you, it's okay. You can, you know, you wow. have me. Wow. And, and just moment. trust just trust me, and I will That's walk good. you through with this man of God. You know, because see, so many of us have been hurt, and we just, we're putting, you know, like a blockade on us, and we don't want to be touched. We don't want to be looked at sometimes. You know, even a smile, you know, if a man smiles at you, you're like, what are you smiling at? You know, because... Pause, I didn't mean to interrupt. Can yeah. we do, because you're on a roll, and I don't know the viewers that <laughs> saw this, have you seen her last one? I was fortunate mm -hmm. to be on. She did one on abuse. Have you heard her testimony? I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, but no. Apostle, would you, for the people out there, I mean, not tonight, but I mean tonight, yeah. but would you pick that up maybe next week, Monday? Yes. Maybe we get an hour in. Let her go. Just her and I, I'll go through the questions that you did yeah. last night. Let her give the testimony. This is a teaching moment. You yeah. want to take this one. Yeah. This is the one you want to study. This is yeah. about abuse. I know you guys, are, I just felt the anointing on that. Oh. There was uh, the way you were walking through it, but you could feel the hurt, but you just, you loved them out of just the way you spoke that release. Could you pray for some of the people maybe yes. they're struggling with hurts or abuse, yes. or, you know, like you did? Yeah, I mean, you know, molestation, rape, um, you know, good. child That's abuse, really physical abuse, yeah, domestic right. violence, mm. um, you know, even uh, verbal abuse, emotional abuse. You know, I, I just want to tell you right now that you, you can get freedom in that. You can be free of, of right. that because you know what? The devil is just trying to keep those chains on you because he doesn't want you to open up your mouth to speak. Mm. But I want to encourage you tonight that right. if you just say, Lord, I forgive those people who have hurt me. Lord, I ask you to bless them. I ask you to, to bless them, Father God, and forgive the situation. And now just say, Lord... Forgive me. I forgive myself. Wow, that's good. Because, see, that's the problem is that we don't forgive ourselves. And we may forgive that person or people that have hurt that's us, good. but we don't forgive ourselves. And so what happens is you still have chains on you. You still have chains on you. You will never be free until you say that prayer that I forgive myself. And once you forgive yourself, I'm telling you, you will be able to be, be free. You'll be able to speak about situations. You'll be able to help others who are still in chains because you're going to feel the power of God's love. Just put his arms around you. He's going to put his arms around you. He's going to love on you. He's going to say, you are my blessed child. I've been waiting for you to come to me so that God can move you and, and put you in, in your destiny because you have a purpose. The purpose is, is to share your testimony. To share that testimony, you will be a witness and you will walk and you will talk in it because that's who God made you to be. He did not make you to be a person to be in the corner and to start, you know, being um, uh, worthless or, you know, unhealthy. He doesn't want you to feel like that. He wants you to be free. He wants you to be victorious. He wants you to be more than a conqueror. But I'm telling you, you have to say, you have to believe and, and trust God that you, that you have to um, pray that prayer of forgiveness. Because once you do that, I'm telling you, your whole life will change. Your whole life will change as my life has changed, too. Amen? Amen. Powerful. Don't forget to watch her next Monday. Very, very important between 9 and 9.30. She's going to continue this abuse. I guess it's love, but abuse. She's found, as she's been speaking on love, some of these things have come up. We've had other guests on that talk about their abuse, and she says, she wasn't trying to talk them or say anything, but I almost dropped out of my chair when she started saying, I was looking around, who is she talking about? And it was her. But the more we dug in this, the more she talked about it. But she says the freedom is in speaking it out. Amen. So we want to encourage her to keep speaking because it will free you. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this one. I'm also going to close this out prayer. We'll yes. see you next and week. And I even want to say this to people that have been, um, um, who, who have used weapons, you know, Ooh. guns, oh, wow. shotguns, yeah. those type of things. I was that girl too, okay? I mean, my husband was about ready to get into all of that. But that's, that's another story. I just want to encourage all of you that there's probably nothing too much that I haven't been through because I have Amen. been through it all. Amen. But thank God we give God the glory that he has actually 
you know, has raised me up and I have freedom now. I'm, I'm free to speak, I'm free to pray, and we're free to love each other. So tonight, Father God, I just ask you, Lord, that you pour out your spirit of love upon the people, Father God, that you heal their broken hearts, Lord Jesus, that you just put them and take them into your arms, Father God, and that they will know your heart, Father God, as your, as your heart beats for them, Father God, that their heartbeat will beat for you, Lord. I just ask you, Father God, right now to bless those people. We encourage them to go and get help, Father God, by Christian counseling, by pastors, by mentors, whoever. Even here at Vision TV, they can come down here. They can speak to me. They can speak to any of the pastors here. And we will pray for them, Father. So, Lord, we just praise you. We give you the glory. We thank you for watching Overcome by Love. And you are victorious. You are more than a conqueror. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good night and God bless. Good night. Thank you. Good work. Yeah. She was really good. She's on fire with that series.